Hello, my name is Colin Slaybach, and today I'm here with Bob Klein. Now, Bob, I was reading your blog, and you have this term called showstoppers when it comes to Roth conversions. Could you go into more detail about those? Sure, I'd be happy to, Colin. There's three situations that I've identified where you wouldn't want to do a Roth IRA conversion. First situation is where you don't have the liquidity in non-retirement accounts to pay taxes because you don't want to be taking money from other qualified accounts that you're not doing the conversions from to pay taxes. It's not a good situation. So that's the first situation. The second situation is if you, your IRA account has a charity as a beneficiary, then that wouldn't be a, a good asset to use for a conversion. Third situation is if you're a participant in a 401k plan and you're not at an age where you can take funds out of the plan, you wouldn't be able to roll it over into a traditional IRA. So if that was your only qualified plan money, that would not be a suitable situation for doing a conversion. Yeah, and that's of course if you can't do a conversion within your, say your 401k plan as well. Correct, yeah. That's great information. So now you have another term on there that's called the high hurdles. Could you go into more detail about those as well? Yeah, the way I distinguish these are, these are just things that you need to consider. They shouldn't stop you necessarily from doing a Roth IRA conversion, but they're very important. First thing is, if you do have non-retirement funds to pay the tax, however, it involves liquidation of securities, let's say, and you're gonna pay taxes on that, that could be okay because to the extent you've held on to the assets for longer than a year, you're gonna get favorable long-term capital gains tax rates. And so that's kind of like a strategy to actually use is to build up non-retirement assets to use for that purpose. So that's one hurdle. Second hurdle would be if you're gonna be taking withdrawals from the Roth IRA in less than five years, it probably doesn't pay to do a Roth IRA conversion. And I'm assuming you already have established a Roth IRA more than five years ago, so that's not an issue. Generally speaking, if you're gonna be taking distributions from the converted Roth IRA, you probably don't wanna pay taxes when it's that close. Yeah, and that's completely separate then from that five-year Roth rule. Correct, yep. And third high hurdle is if you're in a situation where your health isn't really that good and you're not expected to live that long, and you don't have any beneficiaries and you need the funds, what's the point in doing a conversion in a situation where, you know, I'm assuming you're gonna pay taxes, that's not an appropriate situation. Yeah, so it kind of comes down to that need-based yeah. type thing. Yep. That's great information, thank you, Bob. You're welcome. This video was made possible by the New York Life Center for Retirement Income.